Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Hello, a warm welcome, Sage, with you today. Thanks for watching Calkine TV for the ASX buzzing stocks for the day. And the Australian shares opened marginally higher on Thursday after Wall Street closed in the green in the overnight trade. And the global shares gained as the meeting minutes from the US Federal Reserve for its November policy indicated likely slower rate hikes going forward. The ASX 200 gained in the opening trade, rising 14.80 points or 0.20%. On Wednesday, the benchmark index ASX 200 ended 0.7% higher, while the All Ordinaries index rose 0.17%. The Volatility index fell 3.194%. And after the first 10 minutes of the trade, the ASX 200 was trading up 16.40 points or 0.23%. After half an hour, the benchmark index ASX 200 was trading 0.22% higher or 15.60 points. The gainers were Chalice Mining up 5.2%, Virgin Money up 4.3% and Brainchip up 2.8%. Now, On the other hand, decliners were Pendle down 2.05%, Smart Group down 1.68% and Harvey Norman down 1.65%. Taking a look at the sectors, six of 11 sectors were trading higher along with the ASX 200 index. Materials was the best performing sector. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones is up 0.28%. The S&P 500 has risen 0.59% and the Nasdaq has climbed 0.99%. Minutes from the US Federal Reserve boosted stocks. In Europe, the stocks 50 rose 0.4%. The FTSE gained 0.2%. The CAC surged 0.3% and the DAX ended 0.04% higher. The MSCI All Country Stock Index rose 0.85% while European shares surged 0.6%. And on with the announcements. Tyro Payments announced that its payments business was tracking towards the top end of guidance following the announcement of its cost reduction program in October. The company updated guidance, reducing operating leverage from 85% to 82% and increasing a bit to a range of $28 to $34 million from $23 to $29 million. It generated transaction value of $14 billion to 31st October 2022, an increase of 52% on the prior corresponding period. Its hospitality vertical is delivering exceptionally strong growth at 87% versus PCP, with growth in the retail being strong at 38% and health at 36%. At a group level, gross profit year to date, 31st October 2022, of $61.9 million was achieved up 57% on the comparable period. And Harvey Norman announced that its sales revenue increased by 6.9% for the period July 1st through to October 31st compared to the prior corresponding period. There were no openings or closures of franchise complexes during the current period. One company operated store was opened in Ireland located at Fontill on 22nd July 2022 and one company operated store was closed in Singapore. The company noted in Malaysia the Harvey Norman brand has continued to recognise a significant opportunity to grow from 28 stores to 80 stores by the end of 2028. The first store in Malaysia was opened in 2003. Harvey Norman has doubled its store numbers to 28 in the last five years. Importantly, it states to have an experience team in place to deliver this growth opportunity. And Kogan said that its selling of excess inventory has left the company in a positive cash position. Kogan reports $1.18 billion in gross sales for financial year 2022. That's $1.18 billion in gross sales for financial year 2022. Over 50% of their total orders in financial year 22 and were by repeat customers, an increase of 10% above financial year 21. Growth is being driven by their increasing product offering. 
The securities of Marley Spoon will be placed in a trading halt at the request of the company pending it releasing an announcement unless the ASX decides otherwise. And the securities will remain in a trading halt until the earlier of the commencement of normal trading on Monday 28th November 2022. Or when the announcement is released to the market, the trading halt is requested pending an announcement by Marley Spoon to the market in connection with a capital raising. Well, that's the announcement we've picked from the ASX today. There's plenty more coming through the day, so please take a look if you like. This will be up on Calkine Media's YouTube channel pretty soon, so check it out there if you need. And that's all for this edition of the ASX Buzzing Stocks for the day. Another episode will be coming your way soon. Please keep watching Calkine TV for more market insights and business news. Sage signing off for now.